Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Oh my god, this tank is in the store yet again. It's the Chieftain Mark VI, a tier 10 British heavy tank. And Wargaming are trying to convince you that you're going to make like a 35% saving, which is complete nonsense, to be fair. They're selling the tank for 20,000 gold. I mean, every single time this tank hits the store, which is pretty regularly, it's always going for 20,000 gold. That's not a saving. I suppose it's a saving when you start throwing a load of crap at it, like, you know, times five boosters and stuff like that. People aren't interested in the time of five boosters. People are interested in the tank wargaming. So do yourself a favor. Sell the tank for 35% less. And 35% less is basically 20,000 minus 35%. Not th not bump the price up to 30,000 and then say you're making a saving because it's just BS. Simple as that. But anyway, what about the tank? The tank's okay. I mean, it's not fantastic. You're not going to be setting the world on fire in it, to be perfectly honest with you. It's not broken. It's not OP. Um, you can HE the turret, the, the commander's cupola with ease and watch people sort of go, oh my god, I'm on fire and everything. It's a nice tank. It's beautiful tank. It's a great haul down tank. It's got a pretty decent gun, pretty decent armor, pretty decent ability. But are you getting anything that you, you know, that's spectacularly different to what you've got in the tech tree? Well, I would argue no, not really. Okay, you may be looking for your first tier 10, then, you know, this would be an obvious choice. This tank's a lot easier to drive than the AMX 30B, for example. But is it better than the VK90? Well, I mean, that's debatable, to be honest with you. And the VK90 is also in the store. But as I said, if you're looking for that first relatively noob friendly tier 10, then you can't go wrong with this. But be advised, you're not getting that 30 odd percent off. It's, it's, it's manipulation, to be honest with you, because they've thrown a load of crap in there to bump the price up. My advice, well, I mean, personally, if it was me, it was my gold, I wouldn't buy it, if I'm being honest. I've got it. I got it when it first came out. For guess what? 20,000 bloody gold. Um, but I wouldn't buy it now. Not for that price, uh, to be honest with you. And I think Wargaming has sort of taken the proverbial a little bit for doing that. Anyway, aside from that, it is a good tank. But I don't think it's worth dropping that money. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. Let me know what you think. Is it a deal? Is it a steal? Or is it just BS and a manipulation design to make you part with your hard-earned gold? Your call, and I'd love to hear from you. Until the next time, guys, thanks for watching the video. I've been Fujit. I'm out of here. That's been the Mark VI. And until the next time, as I normally say, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that is what it's all about at the end of the day. Having fun and being happy.